All right, next I want to talk about doing an auto refresh. Uh, on the finished product over here, you'll see that, uh, actually you won't see, you won't notice it, but it's refreshing. If there was a live uh, or an active task that hadn't been stopped yet, um, every 30 seconds this reloads the table and recalculates these totals. So it gives you a, a I don't know, kind of not real time, but fairly real time uh, idea of where you're at with your hours. So hop over to Aptana and go over to your JavaScript file here. And what we're going to do is run a set interval here. So after the initial build, And then within this, we're going to run a function. And uh, right now, we'll probably add to this a little bit later. But we'll go ahead and just run the build. Because that tackles uh, pretty much everything we need. It'll build and then retally. Um, and then after this function, we need to add the uh, interval, which uh, for three seconds or 30 seconds, it would be 30,000. Um, let's go ahead and just do, we'll do one second just for now. Save that. And uh, we're not going to see anything change here every one second because we're going by minutes. So we'd still have to wait a minute, which is why I'm going to go back to setting it to 30 seconds. Um, but in order to see this in action, let's go ahead and first add a new task. All right, and then go down the network here and uh, refresh the page. There you go. You see it happening here. Now we're not seeing the change because the table hasn't changed itself, so it's reloading it but we can't see it any difference. Um, we don't want this. This is just constant refreshes. We don't really need that. Um, I set it at 30 seconds so that I think that'll catch, um, depending whether we're in, you know, when you load the page initially, whether it's in the middle of a minute or not, it's still enough to get that minute change. Let's go ahead and set this at 30,000. And then what I'm going to do for demo purposes, I'm going to save this. Hop over to our page. Refresh. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and pause the video. Um, and I'm going to wait for this to run automatically. And then you'll see the minutes go up. So there, are 30 seconds just went by. And uh, we'll wait another 30 seconds. Okay, another 30 seconds went by, but you'll see that uh, the minute didn't go up here. That's because we're kind of in the middle of a minute. So we'll wait another 30 seconds. And there you go, another 30 seconds. So you see the minute go up. Um, and again, purpose of this uh, is, you know, if you're, if you're using this to track something that you're doing, you're not staring at this all the time. However, if you want to flip back over to it, you know, you're working on something, you want to take a peek over here. Rather than having to refresh the page, it's already giving you uh, up to, you know, you know, a 30 second off maybe, but it's going to give you fairly accurate um, to the minute uh, idea of where you're at, if that makes sense.